and two two test Snapdragon 730 and 665, has good and bad news. Qualcomm unveiled the Snapdragon 665 and 730 to bolster its mid-range lineup, but how do they compare to the existing models, 660, 670, 675 and 710? The Snapdragon 730 is significantly faster than the 710, offering up to 25% extra performance. The 730G version, Ben 730 chips that can run at higher speeds, is about 5% faster than the non-G version. We suspect that the G chips will be rare, but we won't be missing much in terms of performance. This is surprising since based on data from Antutu, the Snapdragon 730G GPU runs at significantly higher clock speed, 825 MHz versus 700 MHz. The CPU gets a decent clock bump as well, 2.4 GHz versus 2.2 GHz Note that Qualcomm officially only claims higher GPU clocks, it said nothing about the CPU. Then comes the Snapdragon 665, which posted lower scores than the 660 it's meant to replace. The two are about equal in terms of CPU power, the CPUs are the same, but built on a different process, What's interesting is that the new Adreno 610 is slower than the Adreno 512. The Snapdragon 670 has a better GPU than the 675, but a weaker GPU. So it would be up to smartphone makers to prioritize performance in games or in apps. CPU, big, CPU, small, GPU process. Snapdragon 730G2X Cryo 470, A76, at 2.4 GHz 6X Cryo, A55, Adreno 618 at 825 MHz 8 nm LPP. Snapdragon 732X Cryo 470, A76, at 2.2 GHz 6X Cryo, A55, Adreno 618 at 700 MHz 8 nm LPP. Snapdragon 710 2X Cryo 360, A75, at 2.2 GHz 6X Cryo, A55, Adreno 616 10 nm LPP. Snapdragon 675 2X Cryo 460, A76, at 2.0 GHz 6X Cryo, A55, Adreno 612 11 nanometers LPP. Snapdragon 672 X Cryo 360, A75, at 2.0 GHz 6X Cryo, A55, Adreno 615 10 nanometers LPP. Snapdragon 665 4X Cryo 250, a73, at 2.0 GHz 4X Cryo, A53, Adreno 610 11 nm LPP. Snapdragon 664X Cryo 260, A73, at 2.2 GHz 4X Cryo, A53, Adreno 512 14 nm LPP.